Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for F1 Manager 2022, as we continue our worst to first run with Williams Racing here. And so far, so good. Got the first and second place drivers. We also have the first place team. The Red Bull is incredibly good, and Alpine has come out of nowhere. They've just been playing really well these last, well, that last race especially. I mean, they, they messed up at the end there, but they should have won that race. Um, it's all right. It's all right. I'm glad that they didn't, obviously, but, uh, I've been there. I know, I know where they've been, where they're like, oh, we've got this. And then something bad happens. And you're like, no. So yeah, I, I, I feel them for sure. All right. Got those points put in. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. Go look at our inbox. Congratulations. Stole some points. Um, Got some parts being developed. Research won't be done until the... Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. 25 days for the next race. We'll actually have two researches done before them. Three researches done before then. So that'll be interesting to see if there's any development that we need to do. There's our front wing. And our rear wing. And I'm going to go ahead and just for now... So we got six of those, four of those, two of those, two of those, two of those. So I just need to get two more of each of these just to make sure we have a good enough cushion for now. It's possible I do still end up designing another one of these things, but don't know for sure. We'll find out. If we do, then I can't manage it's more than like one or two. So I'm not too worried about it. Still first across the board. Need to upgrade the boardroom. Alrighty. There's a rear wing research. Still first across the board. So we are going to do another rear ring research. Uh, this one needs to have hours. I mean, at the rate we're going, we won't need this research. But what if we do? Still first across the board. Three of those. We haven't done any of either of these. I think suspension would be the next potentially closest one. Although this doesn't have any regulation changes, so maybe it is better to do that one. do one more ch chassis with hours this time and then we might do some other stuff later so give us what four i think four or five something like that so that'll be pretty good yes i know i'm not using my scouts but there's literally nobody else that i want 
Uh, before we restart, let's check the design again. Every time I come in here, I want to just make sure nobody snuck something in there. So we're currently first. Good. Just making sure. Somebody designed something while I wasn't looking, then that would uh, definitely be awkward. Got stuff there. It's so much money. Oh, and what am I going to do with it? There's nothing else to do with it. I mean, I could do some more facility stuff even before it is, you know, quote unquote time. Several of these are going to be getting refurbished here soon. So still got time to like kind of be patient and play the long game, even if we do end up not needing it. Oh, it's going to be rainy on race. This could be bad for us. I, I'm just not good in the rain. <laughs> really not good in the rain. I mean, I'll look at the strategies, but it's not going to matter, right? Because we'll be putting on some rain something or another. All right, so Belgium... Make a new engine soon. Point oh, 0.0, 9.5, 4 to 6, All right, we have three five nine five three seven three three zero oh, and point five five. That is one optimal. Three greats and another optimal. Three greats, a good, and a great. Only 201 possible setups. Uh...
try that. Because <laughs> if I say the other direction, was not that going to work. All right, good stuff. We'll be kicking off today. Three zero nine five three seven three four five point eight zero. I did that wrong. Uh, revert. <laughs> I, went to, I keep changing the wrong one. Uh, I'm supposed to be changing the calculator, not the actual thing. And that gets us a great, an optimal, a great, and two optimals. So we know where four of the optimals are now. Which is why we only have one setup left. Alright, good stuff. Alright, great. Optimal. Great. Optimal. Great. So I only know where two optimals are. Yet still, somehow, this calculator knows exactly which setup to use. I guess because if you get, I guess if you get either edge of the grates, then you know, and you know how wide a grate can be. Like, let's say if it's from three to four, and that's the most a grate can be is one step. Well, then you know the optimal is dead center of that, right? 3.5. So I'm assuming that's kind of how this works, is that we, we've got the boundaries of the grates, and therefore, we know that the optimal is exactly the center of the two. Something of that nature. Cool. Right. One more practice, then we will swap around some stiff. Assuming the rain's going to be for qualifying, since it wasn't for the practice. Are we going to have to build a new engine? We will have to build a new engine for him pretty soon. All right, let's go. All right, engine's right at the line. So we'll go ahead and run this engine this time, but we will definitely have to have another engine for the next, um, the next race. So we expect the rain to start around a lap 11. And probably just be wet enough for enters the entire time. So. I'm sorry, not 11, 11, 16. I was like, wait a bit. My brain did not count those tick marks properly. Um, I don't know if we can get away with the softs. I mean, according to this, we can. I don't think that's realistic. 
I think we start with the mediums and just push them. In fact, we'll just run this. It doesn't really matter too much. We'll push the mediums pretty hard. How, how hard can we push the mediums to line up with like lap 16? Honestly, we could just stay, we could stay aggressive the entire time. And I think that's okay. Uh, we're going to do the same thing with you. There's no reason to make yours any different. Because one of you guys will pit one lap, the other one will pit the other lap. All right, let's go. It's going to be an interesting race. I mean, a somewhat the rain flips Get everything ready. on its head. It's the Belgian Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. Someone spun out. It's a very long track. Take from Williams. a new position just gained by Williams. All right, settle in for neutral for now. Keep pushing the fuel a little bit longer. Because we're going to probably conserve a lot of fuel once we get everything gets wet again. I'm not going to be looking too crazy on the gas.
tempted to uh, tell him not to fight, but I just don't want to slow him down right now. I kind of want to just both keep pushing as much as possible and hope that eventually he falls off, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. I'm going to push the fuel until, until we, well, maybe not all the way until we pit, but pretty far here. I think we'll get most of this back. What I get for getting greedy. I really was trying to trying to put some space between us and the Red Bull cars. And I was like, if I, if I settle them in, into their line, then he's just going to keep passing us. And it's going to cause trouble. Um, so I got greedy and just didn't tell him to stop fighting. That's what I get. Oh, well. But you can still race. I mean, obviously we're going to put that on, but I'm shocked that you can still race. I'm not boxing this up. How are you still able to race? You have no gearbox. What? I think that just hasn't updated. Right? Like, he can't even move. It's a collision. Yeah, okay. I <laughs> just hadn't updated it. Let's have a look. We're just watching the Red Bull. You can clearly see the contact there, and that caused a lot of damage. The team are devastated. They'll be questioning just what happened out there. So it had nothing to do with me fighting myself. He rear-ended me, and oh my goodness, it was not even our fault. I didn't see that he was wrecked too. Oh my goodness. You know what? That's a good strategy. Have one Red Bull car take out both of my cars, and if his car ends up first place, he eventually, I mean, he does that every single race the rest of the season, he'll win uh, drivers and, and constructors. It's a good strategy. <laughs> okay well obviously there's nothing to watch here so this is gonna be a short episode guys sorry our only hope is that alpine or somebody passes him just to shave off a few points at least i like how they gave me the time penalty even though he rear to me Two rear end the other guy. Oh, oh my goodness. So, so messed up. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of people get this crashing out. Contact and several cars involved. We oh, can this take one. a look now.
Wow. Is that the same corner? Yeah, it's the same spot, isn't it? Wow. Oh, he's on fire. That's not good. Oh, that's, going to be a big blow for that's bad. Wow. Ugh. I really need the other Red Bull car not to finish this. All right, here comes the rain. Actually, a little bit earlier than expected. Although that might be because we slowed down, so we didn't get as many laps done uh, in that same time frame. Come on, Red Bull. Don't get very many points. I think someone's run wide. I think there's been a lockup. Who's running wide there? Someone's run wide. Red Bull's so fast. He's chasing down these guys so well. We've just had a spin. We've just had a car run wide. I'm not showing you guys the rain, but it doesn't matter because we're not out there. There is rain out there. There's a little bit of rain. Kind of irrelevant. I guess I could do this. Boom. It's not like we got to see anything down there anyway. Rain's sticking around pretty good here. Ferrari, I need you to win this one, please. Please win this one. These guys can be able to finish this race on the tires they have, probably, yeah. So, if nothing else changes, I actually do think Ferrari wins this one. Now, I do think Red Bull probably sneaks up to fourth, but I would be shocked if they get higher than fourth, which is... It's pretty good for us. I mean, what's that? 12 points? So, I can't remember how many points it is. I was like, we don't have a fastest lap up there because I think the fastest lap was one of us, wasn't it? Wasn't it Theo or something like that? So, and obviously these guys aren't going to get a faster lap because they're in the rain and they're just, they're just naturally slower. So, unless it dries up, I guess we're holding on to that point, which is good. One less point that somebody else can get. I still think Red Bull takes fourth. I think they're going to sneak in here in a minute, but I could be wrong. All right, we'll come in here. Uh, we will go to... Can we watch you? Yeah. Come on, cut him off. There you go. Here you go. Close him down. Don't let him get past you. Come on. Come on. I'm, I'm cheering on Aston Martin and, and Haas, right? That's, that's the H, right? <laughs> I totally forget their name. Come on, Aston Martin. Let's go. Double wide. Yeah, keep keep from getting past you. Do it like that the whole time. Just keep him from getting past you. Come on, guys. Come on. Better yet, one of you sacrifice yourself and just slam on your brakes. Knock him out. 
No, I don't cheat like some teams. Knocking out both my drivers. Come on. Hold him off. Hold him off. Don't get him. Don't get him in that opening. Come on. Science crosses the line first. Come He's on. Good job. Keeping him back there. Good job. Actually, we had a uh, McLaren. Actually, honestly, not that many people, not that far behind these guys. But no, six, six place. That's that's about as about as best as we could consider. You know, because we knew he was going to do well. So, so it is eight points. Okay, I was wrong. Twelve points is. Oh yeah, no, that's what. That's right. I said twelve points for fourth, and it was it was twelve points for fourth. He just didn't make fourth. He only got eight points. That is, that's a massive, massive thing for us. And he's so far down on this one. Because Verstappen is really the only one that can compete with us on this one. Unless he just suddenly wakes up. So this, that didn't really, nothing happened there. And this is, we're so far out on this one as well. It's like that race never even happened in a lot of ways. Man. The Red Bull Assassin. Got our uh, sponsor money from the qualifying, I think, right? It's extra money there. Good, we need it because we got to buy more parts for our cars now. Good thing we got spare parts. Guess that was smart of me. All right, well, four days until the next race. That was a very uneventful episode. I apologize for that, but what you going to do? Um, yeah. What could have been? We'll never know. <laughs> Um, I mean, I guess if he wants to take us out every single time and his other buddy gets sixth place every single time, I, I think we still win both. So, <laughs> um, actually that's not, that might not be entirely true. Alpine might eventually catch up with us, but, uh, no, it's just, ah, so crazy. <laughs> it's all good though. Not our fault. As long as it wasn't our fault. I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. So I do appreciate you guys watching though. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time for hopefully a much better race again. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.